Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Srinu Jovi, lecturer, Kamala College of Nursing, and the Sri Rajiv Gandhi Welfare Institution. Today, in this video, we'll be learning about what is biomedical waste management. And in our nursing profession, it is very important proper segregation or waste management should be done. So, moving further with our topic, what is biomedical waste management? So, before starting our biomedical waste management, it is very important to understand what is waste is. So, basically, waste is something which is not put into proper usage at a given time. Usually, this waste can be of three major types that are solid waste, liquid waste as well as gaseous waste. Again, solid waste is being classified into three major types that are household waste, industrial waste, third one is biomedical waste or hospital waste. So, as we have seen what is waste is, next we should be knowing about what is biomedical waste. So, biomedical waste is any waste which is generated during the treatment, diagnosis or immunization of human beings or animals or in research activities pertaining thereto or in the production or testing of biologically. So, as we have seen, what is waste is as well as what is biomedical waste is. So, it is very important to know what is the quantity of biomedical waste. Usual quantity is that is 1 is to 2 kg per bed. Usually 85% are harmless waste whereas 15% of the waste are hazardous waste has been found in the hospital setups. So, as we know, what are the quantity usually being uh, seen in the biomedical waste? So, next we should be knowing what are the different types of biomedical waste. Usually, these are of three major types that are first one is your harmless waste, second one is infectious waste, whereas third one is non-infectious and as well as hazardous waste. These are the types of biomedical waste. So, let us first see about the first type of classification of uh, biomedical waste that are harmless waste. So, what are these harmless waste are that can be paper packaging, plastic packaging as well as food preparation as well as any other items that haven't been contaminated. These are the harmless waste. So, as we have seen harmless waste next type is infectious waste in infectious waste again it is divided into three types that is solid liquids as well as shops so some of the solid waste are catheters and tubes disposable mask and scrub disposable tools medical gloves wound dressings as well as human body parts so next type of harmless waste are liquids in liquid waste there are blood, body fluids and tissues, cell, organs and tissue cultures. So, in infectious waste, last we have sharps. Sharp contains that are blades, material made up of glass such as slides as well as needles. So, these are the general infectious waste has been found. So, as we have seen the classification of waste, next type is non-infectious or hazardous waste. These waste are chemical waste, radioactive waste as well as pharmacological waste. So, these are the general classification of biomedical waste. So, as we have seen different type of biomedical waste, so it is very important to segregate. Usually in various hospital setups with different colored container it will be stored. Usually four different colored containers are being used to segregate the biomedical waste in hospital environment. As I told you about the different segregation, usual segregation is being done in four different colored uh, container. So it has been categorized as it has been 
schedule in the figure you can see we have different category option that is category 1 category 2 category 3 category 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so these are the 10 categories 1 to 10 categories usually in this categories biomedical waste management is done waste also it has in category and as well as it has the treatment way as well as disposal way in this methods only biomedical waste management is it has been done with this different categories so as i have mentioned below like we have different color coding for the biomedical waste so usual four color of uh, segregation waste is there so what are that color coding for disposal of biomedical waste that will be seen that is color coding is yellow type of container is plastic bag waste category is category 1 2 3 and 6 treatment option as per schedule is incineration and deep burial second type is red color type of container is disinfected container as well as plastic bag category is 3 6 and 7 treatment option is autoclaving microwaving as well as chemical treatment third type is blue color coding whereas type of container is plastic bag puncture proof containers also category is category 4 and 7 treatment option is autoclaving microwaving chemical treatment and destruction shielding last type is black color coding type of container is plastic bag categories can be 5 9 and 10 treatment option is dispose disposal in secure landfills so these are the ways or color coding and types of container used for disposal of biomedical waste so as we have seen the different color coding how well we should be doing the waste management so as well as it is very important to know how we have to do the proper segregation of waste as per the color coding. So first color coding or the container that is coming is red bag or container. Usually in this red bag or container plastic waste will be put in. That can be your IV sets, tubings, blood and urine bags as well as syringes. In this red bag or container no shafts in this bags are being segregated. So next type is yellow color bag or container in this segregation we have to put soiled bandages, dressings, cotton swabs as well as sanitary pads. In this segregation in yellow color bag no plastic in this bag has been segregated. So as we have seen segregation in red color bags or container as well as yellow color bags and container our third type is segregation of waste in blue container or blue color bags in this type all types of glass bottles broken glasses discarded medicines glass articles as well as sharks is being segregated in blue color container or bags so as we have seen with the three color coding and the type of uh, segregation of waste last we have black color bags as well as containers in this waste we have to be segregating all kind of general waste that can be paper and plastic packaging waste unsoiled plaster casts as well as kitchen waste so these are the usual ways of segregation of waste that can be in red color container yellow color container blue color bag or container as well as black color bag or container so as we have seen different type of biomedical waste segregation of waste so it is very important as a nurses we should be knowing what is the role of a nurse in biomedical waste some of the important things that should be done is do not dispose dressing in the patient bin ask for the disposable bag ensure all the plastics as well as gloves are cut in as well as put it into bleach solution ensure all the used injections are cut using needle cutters some of the other role of nurse are put all other infectious waste such as pathological waste bandages dressing cottons etc in yellow bin as we have seen in the segregation part also 
always cut needle with the needle cutters and disinfect them with the bleach solution so that it should not be used again all shafts to be put in needle cutter containers only help the patient to understand the scheme some of the other role of nurse are use gloves during all the test media place to be put it in separate bleach solution glove syringes to be put it in red color bins needle to be cut it with needle cutter and it should be disinfected whereas sharp should be put it in needle cutter container few of the other role of the nurse are cut all the tubes cut all the gloves check if waste in bleach in only plastics or gloves if not do report to the supervisor as well as help patient to understand the scheme so these are the general role of nurse that should be followed as well as to the patient for all the safety measures for the hospital health workers as well as for the patients also so as we have seen different ways segregation of waste color coding of the biomedical waste now it is very important to know how we have to do waste treatment it can be again of different types that are chemical disinfectant disinfection deep burial method incineration autoclaving as well as microwaving these are the ways so that we can do waste treatment so first type of waste treatment is chemical disinfection for example contaminated material like sputum or pus are to be disinfected before being buried or autoclaved this is the chemical way of disinfection second type is deep burial method in this disinfections are being put it in deep trenches covered with lime and filled with soil this is safe method for disposal of shafts also this is the deep burial method third type of waste treatment is incineration in this particularly anatomical waste that is placenta amputated limbs incinerator subjected them to very high heat converting them into ashes which would be only about a tenth of original volume this is the way of incineration waste treatment next type is autoclaving in this treating infectious waste by autoclaving method or sterilizing them last type of waste treatment is that is microwaving in this sterilization of small volume of waste is done as well as it does not used for metal items that are toxic radioactive materials as well as human body parts so these are the different waste treatment methods usually be done in this video we had learned what is biomedical waste as well as different classifications of biomedical waste as well as we have seen how to categorize or segregate biomedical waste as well as classification role of nurse also waste treatment it is very important that proper segregation of waste should be done so that to protect our healthcare workers as well as patient and also to keep environment neat and healthy i hope this video was a worthwhile one for all of you thank you all